Slow down, you move too fast. You got to make a long morning last just kicking down the cobblestones. Look at the fun and feel. Life, I love you. All is groovy. Yes, we are dating ourselves and we're proud. <laughs> Here's a nice little love song. I love little baby ducks, old pickup trucks, slow moving trains, and rain. Oh, I love leaves in the wind, pictures of my friends, birds of the world, and squirrels. Oh, and I. Full of shells, playing silly games, and Gert. Oh, and I. introduction to make would Reverend Mary Grace and her husband Scott please stand up this is your new senior minister beginning the end of September or first of August so we thank you for being with us this morning and Reverend Mary Grace is going to offer our meditation for us today so before we start into our whole service, let's begin together by just settling into prayer. Take a deep breath and just audibly sigh it out. Ah. Just knowing we are here in this moment together to celebrate who we are as the light of Christ. who we are as the man this is your name 
your kingdom is come, your will is being done in earth as it is in heaven. You give us this day and every day our daily bread. And you forgive us as we forgive. You leave us not in temptation, for you deliver us got a red dot that's a good thing wow sometimes I look at this and and excuse me but I think unity worldwide headquarters our good brothers and sisters at daily word this one a couple of times so for those of you folks that are joining us from afar, your spirit is with us. Join with us uh, in the daily word, and um, it's release. Releasing the past, I make room for the future. Would you join with me, please? Releasing the past, I make room for the future. Hmm. My life experiences have provided me with many gifts. From joyous to painful, I have taken something from each one. A nugget of wisdom, understanding, solace, that has helped me evolve into the person I am today. I am always growing, always changing. With gratitude, I receive the blessings while letting the painful memories go. I have no room, I have no room for regret and do not dwell on things I have no power to change. I have no room for regret and do not dwell on things I have no power to change. As I release unwanted thoughts and unpleasant memories, I free myself to enjoy new experiences and create beautiful, lasting memories. With an uncluttered mind and an unburdened heart, I embrace the present moment and eagerly create my bright, beautiful future. down your legs and out through your feet, just grounding you into this here and now place. And we come back to that thought that Al brought us to. 
making, releasing the past, I make room for the future. And as we contemplate this thought in silence, releasing the past, making room for the future, we let go. We trust in the one spirit, the divine mind connecting all of us to one another. We just surrender as we release and let go and let God in the silence. And as we continue to open our hearts, And as you draw your attention back here and now, take another deep breath in. Be remembered by you. Looking for something that I can believe in. Looking for something that I'd like to do with my life. There's nothing behind me and nothing that ties me to something that might have been true yesterday. Tomorrow is open and right now it seems to be more than enough just to be here today. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know, it is absolutely miraculous and amazing to me how spirit works. All that our friends here knew was the name of my talk this morning was the art of surrender. What they didn't know was that the sectuses as an art How many times have you thought, hmm, maybe if I thought of prayer as an art, or maybe if I thought of using the first principle, God is all, God is good, God is everywhere present, God is within me, that if we practiced it as an art, maybe it would be a little deeper for us. 
So this morning, you are going to get a lot of practice in surrender. We got it in our morning prayer. We got it in Reverend Mary Grace's meditation. We got it in our song. And once again, you are going to have the chance to practice surrender and letting go. So what I would like you to do right now is just pretend. God, because God, God is the absolute power supreme. Just keep rules, for my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Just think of any of those words that have resonated with you and breathe into it. Feel yourself doing what you might call surrender. Knowing that you have hold, held all the resources that you have available to you, and you're saying, I need help. Now, sometimes that help comes from a higher power like a mechanic. I wouldn't have a clue as to what to do with my car when it stalled. And so I thank God for mechanics who have a higher power than I do in how to take care of my car that doesn't work. When I come from my highest state of consciousness, I surrender to a higher power, to his authority, my dad. We've all done that, haven't we? We have surrendered to a power that was higher than us, but that really was not in that moment holding our best interest because it was Let it be your God is here to take care of you. All you need to turn, do is turn within and rest and access. And all the wisdom and guidance you need is yours right there. One of the gurus of the 1970s and 80s, Ram Das, has this story about how to catch a monkey in India. And he explained what you do is you take a jar that has a fairly small neck to it, and you put nuts inside that jar. And then the monkey will come and put his hand in the jar, and he holds on to the nuts because he wants to take them out. But what happens? his hand, his fist, doesn't come out because the neck of the jar is smaller than his fist. And because the monkey is not willing to let go of the nuts and release his fist from the jar, he is bound and he suffers. Whereas if he would just let go, he could release his hand and be free to become great at what we do. We practice and we practice and we practice. Our spiritual life is a practice because no matter how far we go on our spiritual path, there is always another step that we can take always another step. So as human beings, we do tend to hold on too tightly sometimes, and we create our own suffering because we do not surrender. 
or we are afraid that if we do, we will be perceived as weak or not worthy or not good enough. But let's take a minute and look at surrender in a different way. Let's look at surrender in a way in which we are empowered, in a way which we know without doubt that we are always supported by spirit. That letting go where we let it be, where we don't have to struggle. We don't have to try to let go. I didn't sleep last night. I sort of laid awake there. I wasn't thinking about anything. I was just sort of filled with angst. And I kept saying, Carolyn, all you have to do is let it be. And my mind would say, well, what do you have to let be, Carolyn? What do you have? You, you don't have much to be anxious. And when we do, we live in freedom, and we live in joy. So the question is, how do I do this? I've tried it. I've said, let it go. Let it be. I turn within. And for some reason or another, it just hasn't worked. Well, I bet you that sometimes it has. Have you ever had moments where you just knew that you were free? Where the joy just bubbled up within you? I'll bet there's not one person here this morning who hasn't had at least an, a teeny moment of that. And then they build on themselves and you get more and more of those moments. And you let yourself surrender. Power of will to stay connected. Like the birds in the water and the fish or the fish in the water and the bird. in the air. Oh, that would have been a good one, wouldn't it? <laughs> and that was John Denver's way of saying Jesus' words. Remember when Jesus told us, your father takes care of the lilies of the field and the birds in the air. If he takes care of those, how much greater do you think he would take care of you? So this week, let us practice together. Let us know that we are in this looking at the moon. Oh, it was a fabulous <laughs> night. You know, that's really how we deal with perception. You know, she, Carolyn was talking about her letting go and knowing that she was working, and she brought so much happiness to somebody else. And that's what we have to really be aware of, is that we are the walking light of God. Amen. Amen. So now I'd like the ushers to come forward. And now is the time for our taking of our offerings. And before we give our offering blessing, let's do our consciousness statement for Unity Church in Reading. Together, divine order is now manifesting in every phase of this ministry through its expanding prosperity, attendance, and for being a light on the path.
night is cloudy, there is still a light. shines on me shine until tomorrow let it be I wake up to the sound of music Mother Mary comes to me speaking words of wisdom let it be let it be let it Thank you, thank you. You know, I look across all of us and I see us all singing the words and I know we're of a similar generation and it's just so great. We're all singing, let it be, let it be, or surrender, sweet surrender. Isn't it great? Thank you, 360 Band. So with great love and gratitude in my heart, I accept these offerings that have been given so generously for the ongoingness of Unity Church in Reading, for our mother organizations, from our school in Uganda, for all of those things in our community that we support. It is because of your generosity, your open and giving hearts, that know that as you give, you do receive. So for all that has been given this morning in time, talent, and treasure, I say thank you, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And so it is. Amen. Amen. I will be here Thursday. And because I'm going to be gone the first two days, I'm going to be here on Friday, too. So that if any of you just want to come in and chat and say hi, goodbye, of course I'm going to miss you, Carolyn, feel free to come in on Friday. I'll be here. Uh, and where I'm going to be this week is that our... West Central Region is having its board retreat. And as some of you know, I was recently elected to the regional board. And so ordinarily, this is something I would say no to because it's my last week. But being a newbie, I thought, mm, I think I better show up. And so by agreeing to show up, I also agreed that, well,
Before we do our prayer for protection, I just want to tell you that we get the 360 band next week.